guys happy new year welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Ifoma. i'm a fashion designer and a pattern dress maker hope you guys are doing good this new year and i hope and pray this year you know will be favorable for each and every one of us for manifesting that okay so up to today's tutorial i'm going to show you guys how i was able to achieve this so some of you might have questions like oh why did i do this as a detachable cuff and why didn't i do it directly on the sleeve i could easily do that directly on the sleeve but if you know ostrich feathers or we work with ostrich feathers you know that um with time once you put the ostrich feathers in water all your puffiness is going down like it's just going to be sleep so basically i did the detachable cuff just so i could easily remove it when i want to do the laundry for the shirt and then i could clip it back and i still have the puffy look so guys if this video is something you find interesting please don't forget to subscribe like share click on the dumbbell so you get notified when i post a new video the comment section is always open to your questions and suggestions i'm always there without further ado let's jump right into this tutorial two thousand years later Like my lips are so dry so for this shirt that i made of course uh, <laughs> i'm going to be taking the measurement of the cuff so i took the measurement at the position where i want um the detachable um cuff link to be so the measurement i have over there is 4.75 i'm going to be multiplying that by two that's going to give us the width of our cuff detachable cuff so i went forward that to just clear up my space my table and you could see the ostrich feather over there the width of this is 10.5 i added one inch extra which was the sewing allowance and then the length here over there is 2.5 so i went forward to iron um sd to the fabric which is going to give this a little bit of firm or body you know just so that it's not flapping around so i'm going to move forward to stitch this down at half of an inch and then when we come back you should have something that looks like this so um i'm going to just close up that end that we turned this strap so guys this one i'm already calling this thing strap please is the detachable cuff <laughs> let's stick to detachable cuff please um as you can see over there we have our pressing button and this is what the pressing button looks like yeah this is the clear one they do have the black and then this is a clear transparent one so once i'm done passing my thread into my needle i'm going forward to get my chalk and what this chalk is going to do for me is amazing so just watch this process take a time i watch this process so i basically shade um on the pressing button just so i could do transfer and know the location to insert the next pressing button on the cuff so because the chalk mark on the detachable cuff we're able to trace this to the normal sleeve cuff i don't know if you could see those dots like i'm going to still zoom in closer so you can see the dots on the sleeve so you can easily skip this method um another way you could do this is just take the measurement you have on your detachable cuff and then transfer that measurement to your um original sleeve cuff and then i'm just moving forward to stitch my other side of the pressing button with my needle and thread so you can totally skip this method if you're going to be doing this um like placing your ostrich feather directly on your sleeve so i'm going forward now to divide my ostrich feathers into two i have three yards over here so i'm going to have one and half on one sleeve and then another one and half on the other sleeve that way i'll be able to control the amount i'm using on each sleeve so i have my glue gun and then i place the white paper just so i don't get glue on my table so i'm moving forward to cut my ostrich feather in piece and i'm just cutting this 
like small small piece you could cut this two inches or one and a half just depending on how well you can fold this so i'm just folding this like so and then once i'm done folding this i get my scissors and i'm just going to be cutting off you know that excess um fabric that we have there of the sewing i'm just cutting that off and then i just glue that on my cuff detachable cuff so i'm going to repeat this step again i fold 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 like in bits and then once i'm done folding it i get my scissors and i'm going to be cutting off the excess So at this point, my glue gun, you know, ran out of glue. So I went with my glue stick and then just inserted this into the glue gun and then continue the process. So you could do this same method directly on your sleeve, but just keep in mind that if you're doing this directly on your sleeve, you have to take this to a professional to dry clean or do the laundry for you because the ostrich feather has a way of doing its own thing like it will just sleep and form like it will be weak it won't be as puffy as you want it anymore once you dry clean it basically you're still going to go over and then fill up the missing space with your remaining ostrich feathers once you're done so you just check for the missing spots and then fill it up so once you're done with this this is what you should have you have something like looks like this it's popping you know this is what the front looks like and this is what the back looks like so we're going to be clipping this to our sleeve benefit of doing this as a detachable cuff is um, let's say i'm tired of this green color i could switch to white i could switch to pink or whatever color of ostrich feather i want to use um so we've come to the end of this tutorial and i hope you find this video interesting enough to subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in my next tutorial